Hello and welcome to the ZOC. I'm your host, Andrew Carver, and this is mostly unscripted and unedited. Uh, this will be about the Buffalo Classic USB gamepad that I bought off of Amazon.com uh, for less than $20. It is meant to be a USB gamepad for the PC uh, that uh, resembles a Super Nintendo gamepad. And uh, there's a lot of different game pads out there, so we'll be trying out this one and seeing how well it does. Um, really no point in me holding it up to the camera or anything, because you can see from the pictures in the video what it looks like, and you also see in the pictures on Amazon what it looks like. Um, it looks like a Super Nintendo controller. Uh, the only difference really being is that it also includes a turbo and clear button. Um, I pretty much know what the turbo button does, but not so much the clear button. Um, the particular gamepad that I got uh, came from some oriental place overseas, uh, so I can't read any of the instructions, but that's okay, because the Buffalo Classic USB gamepad is plug-and-play, so it is ready to go as soon as you, know, you plug it in. And you can test it out in Windows System Settings, um, without having to install any software. So it requires no software, you just plug it in and you're ready to go. Now, uh, it will require some configuration when it comes to actually using the uh, gamepad with particular games or software. Now, the best test of how well this gamepad works would, of course, be uh, what it is supposed to emulate the most which is a Super Nintendo controller. So we're going to try it out playing a Super Nintendo game. And while there are a wide variety of genres that I could test out the Buffalo Classic USB gamepad with, uh, the best, of course, would be the one that involves the most abuse of the gamepad. And that, of course, would be a fighting game. Now, um, let's be clear. Uh, I'm not the best gamer, and I'm certainly not uh, any kind of good at fighting games. Uh, so do not let my performance detract from you buying this game uh, pad, uh, because uh, I, I'm bound to lose a lot simply because I suck at games. Uh, I'm mainly doing this just to see what its response time is, and uh, see how well it performs under a stressful uh, circumstance, which of course the most stressful circumstance would be a fighting game from the Super Nintendo era that would normally be played on a Super Nintendo controller, which this controller is trying to emulate. So let's try that out. Street Fighter 2 Turbo it is the last game in the Street Fighter series that I played because normally when I play Street Fighter Turbo or any of the Street Fighters, they get my ass handed to me. Thankfully, I'll be playing against the computer, so uh, there'll still be much amounts of ass handage, but I might actually have a chance of uh, winning a few things, getting some far, kind of far. Uh, I'm playing this on the SNES 9X emulator. I think it's worth pointing out that it would not work on the ZSNES emulator. So again, it completely depends on the software that you're using, whether or not it'll actually work at all. That's been a thing with gamepads going back since gamepads first existed. Uh, as long as the game is... Uh, fairly well incorporated game or software, I should say, is fairly well incorporated into uh, Windows. That should work just fine. I have a puppy next to me that's squeaking for my attention. Sally. Hey, hi. Are you cold? Well, get out of here. Go snuggle in a blanket. I gotta play a game. Now, it's been a long time since I really played Street Fighter anything. I think my best character, if I can call the best character, was this guy, Blanca, because uh, he was really easy to pull off. Move 
problems with. But what I want to try and do is use Ryu because towards the end of my experience with Street Fighter is I was actually getting to the point where I could do a decent combo. I could uh, do a jump kick, then go into a spin kick, and then land and do a high duke in. And that would make him starry, you know, wobbly, so I'd run up and then throw him. And that would usually take off like half their life or something like that. So let's give this a try. I'm going to put it on normal turbo, because I'm not crazy, I'm well out of practice. So, let's try this. So, can I select different colors? No. Here's some old school fighting for ya. Oh, shit. Can't be Zangoof, oh, has to be what? E Honda. Great. <laughs> yeah, suck it. My foot. You win. Buffalo gamepad. Feels like a Super Nintendo. Round two. Fight. <laughs> Get off me, you f fuck. Fuck you! Fuck you! Ah! Uh. Round three. Fight! Ah! Uh. Shit! Almost had it. See what you do instead of buying one of those expensive console systems, you just get like a bunch of emulators and ROMs and attach a tiny little computer to the TV, and there you go. A game system with about 6,000 games. What do you think about that? I think that's pretty spiff. Ah, shit, 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 get off, get off. Ah, you fucker. He ate my head. He nommed on me. It's not very nice. Stop it! Oh, 
moves on me. Yeah, you can stop that anytime now. Get off, get off, get off, get off, get off. how to do the dragon punch, but fuck me if I know how to do it now. Yeah, there we go. Oh, you fuck. You win. That's right. That's what you get. Foot in the face. USA. that off. knew how to do a dragon punch.
Bam, 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 bam. Shit. You lose. Punch to the nuts. You win. Notice I'm not playing Mortal Kombat, because there's just no fucking way. That game has too many button pushes and shit. I, I like to keep it simple. Round one, fight! Ah, fuck. No, no, get out, get out, get out, get out. Uh. <laughs> Ah, shit, double KO. Round two, fight! Pad feels really responsive. I mean, it feels just like a regular Super Nintendo controller. I mean, I'm obviously on a <laughs> quite the learning curve trying to make this video. I went right into that. Uh. Shit. Almost. You <laughs> lose. Final round fight.
When in doubt, spam. No, I'm surprised I made it this far, really. Again, Buffalo Classic USB Gamepad. That's what I'm using. USSR. I think I got, well, I think around $12. It's really cheap. Round one. Zongoof. Ah, fuck. You're A lot of people thought Zangief was shit back in the day, but I've seen some scary perfects. Ah, you fuck. No, 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 no. Oh, come on. Uh. You lose. I've seen some people seriously rip some shit up with Zangief. Because he has a lot of powerful moves. Yeah, no, I suck. I told you to I'm coming back for you, Zangief. USSR. Round one. Fight. There, how you like me now? You win. Round two. I'm not gonna take any of your zane goofiness. Eat it. Yeah. Zane goofed. <laughs> you must defeat my dragon punch. Oh, shit. When I lose, it doesn't feel like I'm losing because of the game pad. It feels like losing because I suck. So. Yeah, this fucker. Yoga lane. You 
win. You can stop that anytime now, you asshole. You cheating motherfucker. Yoga Teleport is actually one of the more difficult moves to do in Street Fighter, so for him to just pull off one teleport after another is complete and utter bullshit. That is so much the computer cheating. Because the computer doesn't have to push buttons. Ah, shit. I gotta verse my evil clone. <sighs> this might be it. We'll just have to see. During a versus with your evil clone is always prob problematic for a variety of reasons. <laughs> Shit. You lose. A good gamepad will only take you so far. After a certain point, you either got the skills to do it or not. And this was kind of hard for me way back when, when this was a recent game. Now that I'm older and my reflexes are slower. That was just a fluke. <laughs> you win. I got lucky that the computer got stupid. That's that's barely a win right there. Round two. Fight. Hadouken. Hadouken. Come on. Uh. Hadouken. Yep, then... Back to f ah. Yep, going back to form now. You lose. Losing, 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 losing. Round three, fight! I'm going to cut this one off and bring up a different fighting game. Uh, I'm pretty sure you get the idea with this. I just don't feel like doing like 
another 20 minutes of losing. Okay, this is another fighting game that I actually enjoyed a lot more so than the, than the Street Fighter series. Simply because it was more creative, if you could say. I don't know if they made any more Samurai Showdowns for the Super Nintendo beyond the first Samurai Showdown. I know they made a shit ton of Street Fighters, but this is like the only Samurai Showdown that I know of. And I love this game, and I really wasn't much better at it, but it just was more interesting to get my ass handed to me with this game as opposed to the other one. But anyway, let's see how far I can go with this one. Jinan. He's my man. His eyes are blue. He no samurai moves. Carlo Ford. Now, I can't remember shit for his moves, so we'll just have to see. Okay, you don't use the buttons over here. So. I think that's one of the reasons why I like this game a lot better, because there was less buttons to keep track of. It's less like, like, fuck, what button do I push? Shit! And more like actually concentrating on the game itself. Yeah. <laughs> 
Stop it, stop it. That's not nice. Ah. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Ah. Fuck. Like I said, I'm not any better on this game either. It just has more interesting characters, and I thought it would probably be a good idea. My sweat bubbles for battle. Thought it'd be more interesting to see this game pad. Game pad with uh, two fighting games, at least. I'm Tom. Spam your ass. Until it does that. Now dead, dead. Genon's <laughs> an easy character because all you have to do is keep track of two buttons, really. 
He has kicks, and he has like a poison attack, but... It's just better off to keep the claw. Because I suck. <laughs> Yourself, silly man. to face. <laughs> of course, at some point I know I'm going to reach a point that I'm not going to be able to continue on, just like with Street Fighter. Give me a flower. Oh, 
Nah, I'm blue. I'm blue. Da ba di ba da da. Da ba di da ba da. Da ba di ba da da. Da ba di. I live in a blue house with a blue window. Got a claw on my hand. Ah, oh, shit. Gimme, 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 gimme. Okay, you can stop that any time now. Uh, right in the eyeball. Craziness. Oh, bullshit. Why can't I have the chicken? Okay, I'm pretty sure I've reached the point of no return on this one, too. Right, let's try a different one. Okay, this is not necessarily a versus fighting game, but it is kind of like a fighting game. Sort of. You're, you're fighting against the computer, anyway. Pretty sure some of you recognize this. I'm just going to play the first level. So I figure if... You know, the Buffalo Classic Juski Gamepad, excellent gamepad to have, totally recommend it. Uh, I think I paid around like $12 for it, so if you're looking for a really good gamepad for next to nothing, this is a great thing to have. I mean, it does exactly what it's intended to do, and I'm sure you can use this for a lot of other games too. It's a Super Nintendo-like controller that does really well playing Super Nintendo games. Of course, I'll be using this for any other console type stuff, so... And on the other games, I'm gonna hook up to it. Yeah. My preferred gaming experience is the PC, so I use the keyboard and mouse a lot. But there are some games that just would be better off using a gamepad, so why not? Nice. 
Donna tells them she is going to get the fur thing set up for her. for a while, so maybe I'll just do this. <laughs>
Cowabunga's. Cowabunga! Sewer Surfer. I actually probably should have put the lives at max before I started this. Classic USB gamepad, an excellent gamepad, uh, very inexpensive. I got it on Amazon for less than 20 bucks. Uh, very responsive. No complaints here. Um, fully compatible with Windows, just plug and play. Uh, may not all be compatible with all kinds of software, whether it be emulators or games, but again, that's just something you have to deal with regardless of what gamepad you get. But anyway, this has been the ZOC about the Buffalo Classic USB Gamepad. If you need a gamepad and you need uh, one in the Super Nintendo style, uh, this is the best gamepad to get. I fully recommend it. This video was filmed on location by Zarakin Productions. Zarakin Productions is an umbrella group for many YouTube shows and businesses both inside and outside of Second Life. Please go to zarakin.com for a complete listing of shows and businesses associated with Zarakin Productions, and their own media links. Zarakin Productions shows have been organized alphabetically in playlists in a year, month, day format for easier video navigation. Multiple part videos have been named accordingly starting with part 1, and the last video of a multiple part video series will have end as a part of its title. Please like comment, and share this video as it helps both Zarakin Productions, and the creators of this video's content. Also, be sure to check the playlists for past episodes of show content, and subscribe to this channel for future videos. Thank you for watching, and happy wandering.